Hello guys, Joe here, and not sure if you can tell, but I sound a little sick, it's because I am, but it's all good, and I'm just gonna put this video up to help you if you have a gaming computer with LEDs, and you don't know how to um, change the color of them, if you can, I'm not sure if your computer can, but I know that mine can, and it's an Asus computer. I'd have to look up the full model of it but yeah so first off if you have an Asus one like me um, click that and then it's called Asus command it's gonna ask you to run it as an administrator wait for it to start oh wait I already have it open uh -huh. it's gonna look like this what you're going to want to do in here is you're going to go to tool, lighting, and then this is my computer, what it looks like. So that's just going to give you a basis of what I have. You can change the LEDs to any color you want based off of the color wheel, and then you sync it for all the lights to change. I'm going to keep mine blue though just because I think it looks good with the red or should I make it red actually I'll just keep it blue so I'm going to sync it, set it and now all the LEDs on my computer are blue and then if you don't have that and you have an Asus computer like you reset your computer and it's just gone like how mine was I'm going to teach you how to get that back in the description first link in the description I'm gonna leave a link and it's gonna look like this you're gonna wanna click download but mine says open because I'm signed in you're gonna wanna click download and then when that finishes downloading you're gonna get this I extracted to your desktop and then when that's done you're gonna wanna open it run the setup click yes but I already did that and then check all the boxes and finish it and then when it says finished click finished and then you're done oh yeah and there will be updates like this So you could just tap install like that. <sighs> the update has not been made changes to your computer virtual. Alright. So that's normal if you see that sometimes, just depending on what the update's for. Mine didn't have that, but it wasn't really important because I'm not updating with that. I'm updating with like actually Windows. So yeah, once you click this, like I said, I'm just gonna do it two times. Double click this, click yes when it says whatever the thing says, and then check. Hold on, I'm gonna do it again just to show you. So I clicked yes, you're going to want to check all these boxes, but they should already all be checked. You're going to click install, and then like I said before, when they're all done, you're going to want to click finish, and then it's going to reboot your computer, and then when you click this, it should be at the top. Yep, that's all for this video and like if you like this and it was helpful subscribe for more and that's all see you